Hi, for this recording, I will attempt to introduce spherical coordinate. I will talk about four points. What is a spherical coordinate? The conversion between spherical coordinate and rectangular coordinate. A simple surfaces. And then an example. 1 and 2 to convert spherical coordinates to rectangular coordinates and vice versa. First, what is a spherical coordinate? We are well aware that any point in the three-dimensional system can be located by using the x, y, z or rectangular coordinate system. But there is also another way. Now it consists of three numbers. First one is rho. Rho is the distance of the point measured from the origin. Second number is the number theta. This is how much rotate the x-axis. And the third number is phi, is the angle measured downward from the z-axis. Now for this information, rho is a number greater than 0, theta can be any number from 0 to 2 pi, and phi is a number from 0 to pi. Let's look at how do we do the conversion. Over here, I have a point x, y, z in the Cartesian coordinate system and the same point in the spherical coordinate. Now, using the right angle triangle, if you observe that particular projection of P to the z axis, let's call this length R here. Now, this is the same as this R here. So what is R here? R over rho is actually opposite over hypotenuse. We know that this is equal to sine of phi. So R is equal to rho sine phi. And from then, we can find out what is x and y. Because if you look at another right angle triangle, the x here is equal to r cosine theta. And the y here, using right angle triangle, is equal to r sine theta. Putting the value of r equal to rho sine phi, get x equal to rho sine phi cosine theta, and y equal to r sine theta with rho sine phi sine theta. Then how about z? Okay, right angle triangle. We know that z is equal to okay, you look at right angle triangle, you'll find that cosine rho cosine phi will be z since we know cosine phi is adjacent over hypotenuse which is z over rho that is why z is equal to rho cosine phi so with this we have found the formula x, y, z 
of converting speaker to Cartesian coordinates. We are going to convert rectangular coordinates to spherical coordinates. Again, comparing side by side. So we are given x, y, z now. Then how do we write down rho, theta, and phi? So based on rho is a distance from the point of origin. So we know that this distance, if the Cartesian coordinate is x, y, z, then this distance is x squared plus y squared plus x squared. And then the second parameter is theta here. We know tangent theta is y over x just like cylindrical coordinate. So from here, we can find theta. How about phi? So if you look at cosine of phi is z over rho. So from here, we can find out phi. From here, we know that how you convert x, y, z to rho, theta, phi. Let's look at some simple surfaces in spherical coordinates. If you have a surface rho equal rho to rho, what you're going to get will be a sphere. If you have theta equal to theta to rho, what you get will be a half plane. So if you fix rho, let's say rho is always equal to 2, then you're going to get a lot of circle of radius 2. A lot of circle and together they are form a sphere of radius 2. Let me show you an animation. When row chain, what you get will be a sphere. If I fix the anchor theta, what you get will be the half plane. So this is an animation. Let me show you when theta change. Now let's look at the third case. What happened to fixed phi? And pi over 4. So you're going to get a cone. Let me show you an animation. It show you the different angle of phi and give you a different cone. Let's look at example 1b. Find the rectangular coordinates of the point with spherical coordinates rho, theta, and phi, which is 4, pi over 3, and pi over 4. So this means the point is located 4 units away from the origin. Then the direction from the x axis turn pi over 3, and then particular location can move down from the axis pi over 4. You can do the computation by using the formula x equal to rho sine phi cosine theta which I give you square root 2 y equal to rho sine phi sine theta which give you square root 6 and z equal to rho cosine phi which is 2 square root 2. Let's look at example 2. Find the spherical coordinates of the point which has coordinate, rectangular coordinates 4 minus 4, 4 square root 6. So over here, I show you the picture. This is the x axis, this is the y axis, and this is the z axis. Move along 
x axis for unit. Move along y axis minus four unit. Then move along z axis four square six unit, and you locate the point. So once you locate the point, we're able to find the spherical coordinates. So the distance for the origin rho is square root of x square plus y square plus x square, which is square root of four square plus four square plus four square times six, which I'll give you four times square root eight which is 8 square root 2 and then to find theta we know tangent theta is y over x y is minus 4 x is 4 so tangent theta is equal to minus 1 but since we know x greater than 0 y less than 0 so the point in terms of xy coordinates is in the fourth quadrant so theta will be minus pi over 4 or 7 pi over 4 so now we're going to take theta since we say theta from 0 to 2 pi so we're going to take theta equal to 7 pi over 4 as you can see the working yeah 7 pi over 4 to find where is the phi here we know that get the picture here cosine of phi is equal to z over rho z is equal to 4 square root 6 rho is equal to 8 square root 2 so calculate them is equal to square root 3 over 2 as we know the phi from 0 to pi so we conclude that phi is equal to pi over 6 so from here we have obtained the spherical coordinates of a given point in Cartesian coordinates That is the end of the recording.